Okay, let's go again. So, <clears throat> alertness level high. Hmm. <laughs> okay, A4 center. <laughs> Okay, I'll go for his king. Maybe this has been an improvement over the last game. Uh, so he does take on e5, this guy. He's 2200. So same sort of setup as the last game. But I'm more optimistic here than the other game. I've still got my nice bishop. The other guy just got rid of it. And he's supposed to be... Um, okay, a lot weaker. So... In fact, can I just take on g4 here? Is that dangerous? Get my queen to h4? Could be in the game pretty soon, if he's not careful. Strange contrast. So, um... Check... Or well, knight h2? Oh, there's queen e4 check. Okay. So, what would be good here? Maybe uh, bishop, uh, bishop d7 or f5 or knight f2. What about knight f2? Stops the use of queen e4 check, but it also means that maybe queen h2 and bishop h3 are going to be dangerous. I think knight h2. I have two looks dangerous enough to play. Sort of prophylaxis against Queen E4 check. Brings in the bishop into the game on H3. <clears throat> Threat of Queen H1. If takes take with the queen, queen g2, mm, where's the attack? Maybe I do need to castle queenside and try and bring a rook to e8. Um, oh! Have I got this all wrong? Oh dear. So queen h1, knight g1, then there might be bishop takes d4. And his bishop sort of pinned to the queen? No, not quite. Um, Alright, what's what's he threatening? He's threatening to win the g3 pawn, so that's a bit of a problem. Uh, now, can I just take queen g2 check, takes check, forcing knight g1? Because if king g2 loses the e1, if he plays king, if he plays knight g1, then couldn't I castle queen side? So I think this is, I don't think there's anything crisper. Bishop takes d4. He might even play knight g3. So this is probably the time to go for this queen h1 business. If I take on g2, queen h1 takes takes. If the king moves, he loses the right. So knight g1, then I carry on. I think I'll do that. Unless I don't know. Is there an improvement here? I can't see one. So I'll go for this. So I assume he's going to take, and then knight g1. Okay, he doesn't. Hmm. So can I, um, if I play bishop takes d4, well I still can, to get rid of that knight. Bishop takes d4. Then I can castle queenside. He plays queen g3. I might have knight e4 there with the queen protecting the thing. Uh, so I think taking on d4. Okay, while well I can. Then castle queenside. Oh, it's check. That's not good. Whoops. Okay. So much for the idea of casting queenside. Okay, knight e4 still holds. There's an idea in this variation. So knight e4 might be a good move here. Uh, queen g2 
maybe not so hot. Uh, queen g2. There's rook h3. Uh, queen takes f2. Right, rook h2. Holding f2 for a moment. And then maybe knight e4. That stops queen g2. So I think rook h2. Just to hold on to f2 and support knight e4. Okay, I'll do that. 1 minute 16 though. So, uh, right. Also, there's a, maybe knight h3 is introduced. The idea of actually rook f2 as well as putting pressure on g1. So, knight h3. If rook e2, then I could take on e2 and then take on g1. We'll just take on e2 and bring the rook in. So actually knight h3 is an interesting uh, resource here. Uh, actually, what about queen f3? Does it just extinguish everything with queen f3? Whoops. Probably. This, this knight isn't... Oh dear, queen f3, the, the queen is not in a good place. Knight h3 takes rook f2 mate, actually. Hang on, queen f3, knight h3, he takes, then rook f2 mate. See, I think I'm alert to these possibilities, and I wasn't reading that before. So knight h3 might save me, there's no back row mate, check. I've got pigeonhole here for rook e8. So queen f3, knight h3. Queen takes h1, rook f2 will be mate, peculiarly. Um, so, let's look at under the fences. Bishop e3, knight h3. Fret. Okay, so we'll play this one. Whoa. <laughs> well, hope you enjoyed that. I, f I just feel a bit more alert. I think Botnik is somehow right about a walk. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if anyone can explain it. Why why would a brisk walk help your chest? Does anyone know? Please leave any comments or questions, especially about that. Um, so if there are saving resources and you're awake, you're more likely to find them. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.